Hi friends, welcome back to another Sims 4 video. My name is Sid and we do find Sims 4 related things on this channel all the time. Today we're gonna be revisiting a long lost but beloved build series on my channel from quite a long time ago. In this build challenge, we are building the entire world of Willow Creek on one lot. This is the world of Willow Creek. It comes with the Sims 4 base game if you're not familiar, but this is a very general world. A lot of people have played here. Some really popular townies here like the Goth family, the Pancakes family. We got the BFF family down here at the bottom right. And I have been building every single lot in this world, but teeny tiny so that it fits on one lot. So this is my progress so far. This is the entire world on one lot. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a recap because it's been such a long time. Then we'll get straight into building these tiny lots. But if you do wanna go back and watch all of these builds, I will link the playlist down below. I think I also did the one previous to this on stream where we did a few commercial lots, so I'll link all of that down below. But here is a quick recap to catch you up to speed. Starting at the top left, we have this area here. This is this top area up here. It has a name. We have Sage Estates. I don't even know if when I did this, they all had names. That was kind of a recent feature. A fairly recent, probably like a year ago. But this is Stage Estates. Over here, we have the Spencer Kim Lewis household. We also have the Oakenstead residence. So this portion of the map in the top left, left is that part of Willow Creek. We have it separated by the river here. I did all the landscaping to match. This is the uh, tiny version of the Spencer Kim Lewis household. And this over here is our little Oakenstead mansion. It's so cute. These ones were really difficult. I remember having a pretty hard time with these. We even have some of the landscaping from there over here too. It turned out really cute. The idea here too was like recreating this but an open world version. So you could have your sims like go and live in each of these lots lock the door for everyone else. And there you go. You have an open world based game at Sims 4 experience. The next area we did was this one here, Pendula View. <laughs> there are four lots over here, three already built. And of course that includes the Goth Mansion. Goth Mansion, the Park Shore lot and Umbridge Manor. So that's this little section over here. Of course we have the baby Goth Mansion. I honestly feel like it kind of looks better like that. The one thing that you will notice through this series is a lot of the EA houses have a lot of empty space, so they actually work a lot better as tiny homes anyway. You can fit pretty much everything in there in like half the space. <laughs> so we've got the goth mansion, we've got the other two houses here. I'll show you a little bit of the interior of this one because I remember having so much fun doing it. Oh yeah, we used ladders in here, all the bedrooms and everything. Very cute. Following over to the right in Willow Creek, we have Courtyard Lane. This one contains the Pancakes House and a few other lots that I don't even know if I've ever been to before doing this series, but five lots total over here in this neighborhood. That neighborhood, we kind of left it. I still have to fit a few different lots into this tiny little space here, but this was the Pancakes House. I remember doing that one. It's so cute and tiny. And look at these small spaces that I have left for the other households. I know we're going to have a little bit of an issue with this. It's going to be a little tricky, but we got it. And then finally, we have this bottom portion of the map, which is where we're going to be starting today. We've got this this neighborhood here, Foundry Cove, that one contains the BFF households and a lot of like starter homes over here. These ones are really small already. And then to the left, we have Cog Crawdad? Crawdad Quarter, <laughs> which contains a lot of the commercial lots. We have Magnolia Blossom, a library, etc. So we're going to be rebuilding this neighborhood here today. I think I can probably get through all of it. I've already done a tiny version of the BFF's house. So all we have to do is fill in this area here and we're going to be good to go. I already did two of the community lots on stream. I will also link that down below. But this is the start of our commercial area. We have two more to go. I need to fit Magnolia Blossom somewhere in here, probably like there. But let's go ahead and get started on our tiny neighborhood to the right here, starting with this lot here. Okay, so this lot here is called the Daisy Hovel. It's very basic already. Again, it's a starter. This is probably, yeah, like 16k. Basic landscaping, minimal detail. <laughs> then on the inside, see, this is what I mean about the empty space. Surprise Surprisingly, this one isn't as bad, but we've got the living room over here. We've got the uh, kitchen kind of separated there a little bit, a bedroom and a bathroom. So what I did last time is I actually saved each individual room so that all I had to do was like copy and paste each item. So I'm going to start doing that, just clicking on it and saving room here. That way, when we go to build, we're going to have every single item readily available and it's just going to make our lives so much easier. Okay, so let's get our shell going. We're going to try and get our layout. This one, again, very, very 
very basic. I'm gonna try and get it maybe like right here. That might even be too big for what we're gonna go for, but I'm gonna build one wall here for my porch. We're gonna do a tiny bathroom to the right. What I've been doing is using like the Discover University shower so that I can make my bathroom smaller. That is the only item that we're gonna be using today that isn't Sims 4 base game. So we'll do that there. I can probably get my bedroom here, get that base game filter on. And as long as I can fit one of these in there, like a double bed with no issues, then we'll be fine. Sims can scoot across here. It's gonna be functional. Then I'm gonna need a separate area for my kitchen, which I think I'm gonna go like this and like that. And we should be able to save all the space that we need here for our living room. I've grabbed my room off the gallery. I'm gonna place it over here. And now all I have to do is use the eyedropper tool, go in and I can use the same flooring. I can grab the same wallpaper. I can't remember, but I do think this was an idea from the comment section way back. I think someone suggested this and absolutely blew my mind. I think I might start with the porch. So I'm gonna put these on there, a couple in the center here, and then I can delete these walls. I don't think they have any spandrels. We'll add our same fencing, the fancy fencing. I also have my front door here, which I can grab and add there. And my windows, I think I'm just gonna stick them right here. The only thing I'm concerned about right now is I need to get my couch in here. And this was supposed to be my living room space, but Sims aren't gonna be able to get back there to get to the bathroom. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna bring this back just a little more. It's okay if my rocks are kind of like pushed out of the way, I can fix it later. And I think I'm still gonna extend this all the way back so I can make a little more room for my kitchen like I was planning. Pull this over and there we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab the rest of the living room items. I can put my lamp right there. You'll find also a lot of these are gonna be very dark. EA for some reason is notorious for not having a lot of light in their builds. I don't know why, but we'll grab this one back here for the kitchen. I need my doors as well. So I'm gonna add my doors right here and right here. And then kitchen stuff, as long as I have the essentials, meaning like my fridge, counter space to prep, oven and sink, then that is gonna be considered good in my books. So we'll grab our sink. We'll put our sink like right here. I can wrap my counters around this way. Sims are able to prep on that corner space there. So I can probably put my oven right in the middle. Smoke detector in our trash can. And see, I think that looks better than the original house. It's more spaced together properly in my opinion. I don't know, I quite like it like this. Oh, we have one more little dining table, which I can put right here. I'm gonna make sure I grab this light and put that on the back. And I need to put columns on every corner. But other than that, that is everything from the main room. So now we can delete this. I'm gonna download my bathroom and the bedroom. We already have our bed, so I can go ahead and delete that. I'm gonna grab my lamp and like literally there's only three items in this bedroom. So we'll put our lamp near the bed here. I cannot stand these doors. I remember having an issue with that before. But we'll get our lamp, we'll get our dresser. And with our flooring and wallpaper, there is our beautiful bedroom. And for our bathroom, pretty much same thing. Actually, we have more items in here. <laughs> Wait a minute. This actually might not work out as best as I thought it would. Wait, this won't work. My door has to be over here. Hold on. I'm gonna have to extend this over a little bit so that I can add a hallway down this way. So we're moving everything over. My kitchen should be able to fit in here still. We're gonna have to rearrange my dining table so my dining table can go right there instead. I need to pull this wall across and we'll put our little trash can in the corner there. Okay, now with this layout, what we could actually do is extend this all the way over and do a full-sized bathroom. So we'll add my door. We'll delete this wall. We'll open it right up and I could actually get rid of the Discovery University shower and probably still just use the same one we had. So toilet there and I can probably just get rid of this one window and add the exact same shower that we had in the other place. So now everything is exactly how it's supposed to be. Everything is laid out exactly the same and I think our house looks really cute. So now we're gonna do the outside. I'm gonna raise this up onto a foundation to match the others. We've got a very basic foundation on this house. I think it's literally just like this one here with a blue instead of the white default. And then for the roof, we've actually got two roof pieces on here. We've got this one, which we're gonna extend all the way down to the front. And I'm gonna lower it a little bit because on top of that, we're gonna put another roof piece, which they used this one here, a gabled roof. And I'm gonna extend that over as well, but I just want a tiny bit of the top to be peeking out. I'm gonna bring in my adjusters and yeah, it's just like a little thing like that. We have some blue trim here, which we're gonna add and we're just gonna copy and paste the same paneling onto our roof. And there we go. I think that's it. We're gonna add our stairs over to this side. We'll get our railing to match 
and all I have to do is the landscaping, which is so much fun to do. Base game landscaping is very basic. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of these flowers. Actually, I need to get rid of that little like patch of terrain paint, but we're gonna wrap these flowers around and we're gonna combine these in here as well. Just like a couple of those little daisies. We'll fix up this part here and just kind of like bring it over to this side. Add our mailbox, some more landscaping over to this side and a trash can. And there is our tiny daisy hovel right next to our BFF's house. Let's move on to the next one, which is somehow gonna have to fit over here. By the way, how do we feel about not having the tapestry in the background anymore? I kind of like it. I love my tapestry, but I kind of prefer it without it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. But we're moving over. We're gonna do this one, the Crick Cabana. This is the one on the end of the street. Again, such a basic little shell. They kind of remind me of like trailer homes a little bit. Cute shell, basic landscaping again. And on the inside, this one, <laughs> the bedrooms just get no love. All the way back here, we've got our bedroom with a bookshelf. We have one extra item than we did before. Our bathroom again with that same shower combo and sink. Another bedroom in here. Ooh, there's two bedrooms in this one. Okay. And then over here, we've got our kitchen, living room, and dining room. All right. Now, somehow that entire house has to fit over here. So let's try and get our shell. I'm going to bring this all the way as far back as I can get it. Even if we're going into the rocks again, I can just delete those and fix it up. We'll just get rid of all the landscaping that's now inside here. I feel like I should move this entire house over a little bit, which might be a little bit frustrating, but this house has a, like a bump out that goes this way a little bit. And I don't want it to be too close to the stairs if I still have a little room to move it. So I'm just going to go room by room and just kind of moving it over slightly like this. There we go. Now our spacing is a lot better. I've been able to fit this over here. I started doing my patio just to make sure that that would fit where our stairs are going to go. So let's raise this up on a foundation. I have my porch here and I'm going to start to add the columns. We'll get our siding, which I wonder how many of them have the same color and our windows here, which I'm glad we were able to make that kind of to size because I don't want to lose that. That's a nice feature on this house and our fencing. And this is actually perfect. We're going to be able to have our stairs leading right there. And I think we have the exact same roofing as the other house, like the daisy one. So I'm going to quickly do that. So we have a base for our house and then we're going to go inside and figure out the layout. So again, the two different roof types, just playing around with the heights to make it work. Cute. Okay. I still need to get my door, but basically this is what our outside is going to look like. Now for the inside. And this one was really weird because it was like open concept back to the bedroom. So it had like front door, hallway all the way to the back, but then there was a bedroom in here, kind of just like with room for a single bed. So I'm going to do a three by three room there. Back here can be living room and dining. Hopefully we're going to have a tiny bathroom right here. This is where our bathroom was located in the actual home. And then we'll have front door right there and maybe kitchen if we're lucky. Let's start off with the easiest one, which I think is going to be the single bed bedroom. So basically we just need the light. We need a bed. And the thing is we could probably just do a single like two tile bedroom if it weren't for this dresser, which is taking up so much of the space. So that's going to have to go here. I don't think there's a way that I could make this any smaller with it being functional unless we push that all the way over into the side and the dresser here. And would that squeeze in? No, that's way too squishy. All right, we'll leave it how it was. We'll just have to have that tiny hallway, which maybe makes it more private anyway. And we'll grab our door. The bathroom is going to be pretty easy, but for this one, again, we're not going to get away with using the full bathroom like we did in the last one. We're going to have to use a Discovery University shower. So our toilet can be there on the edge here and we'll get our shower right in the middle. See, it is so dark in here. There's no other light. I'm, I have to add a base game ceiling light. Even just like this tiny little one there. Perfect. <laughs> Maybe I'll be nice and put it in each side of my house too. Then for the main room, look how big this is in comparison. <laughs> that's crazy. Okay. We're going to put this over here. We're going to get our bed, put that all the way in the corner there. We have a little lamp, a dresser and our bookshelf. So our dresser will go on that wall and our bookshelf can probably be in the same spot that it is. It'll go right here. Then we have carpet for just the bedroom and some beautiful like periwinkle blue wallpaper. <laughs> I feel like I keep like enunciating my words in more of a fancy way to make it seem more 
then see. It's funny because my other build series we have going on right now is like bougie, expensive, like the complete opposite of this, which is kind of just what I need. So we have our bedroom. I love how none of these have wall art. Then for the rest of it, we're gonna bring in this wallpaper. We finally have our little front door, which I feel like I'm probably gonna have to put like right here. And oh, this is gonna be hard to fit all of this stuff in one space. Okay, we'll grab the couch. Our layout might have to change slightly. I think it's probably gonna end up being flipped. So we could do our couch leading this way with our TV and our TV stand. Then we'll grab our dining table, but I'm definitely gonna have to delete a couple chairs. So to make this the tiny version, we'll go like that. Or actually like that would definitely have a higher chance of being functional and it saves room. And now we just have to fit our kitchen stuff. So we're gonna grab our fridge. I'll probably put the fridge maybe like at the wall. I feel like it would be a little weird to walk in and just bam fridge. Ooh, wait, this is gonna be kind of tricky here, I think. What if we get rid of this sink because I do have the one in the bathroom right there and Sims are notorious for using the bathroom sink for their dishes anyway. Then we can do our oven right here. Um, okay. And then we'll get our smoke detector and everything. That way we have everything we need. Our Sims will be able to cook, prep, eat their food. The only thing is they're gonna have to use the bathroom sink for their dishes. But I feel like I think this looks so cozy and cute in here. Okay, we're gonna finish off the outside with the landscaping. I have a little bit more to do on that. Add more windows, etc. I know there's one base game house in The Sims 4 that has like mismatching windows. So it would be really funny if we like kind of copied that. <laughs> or not mismatching, but they're literally like placed like this. It's so cute and tiny. All right, we have one more house that we have to do for this. And it has to fit right here, which is so small. Like the tiniest space to fit an entire house, but we're gonna do it. So the final house we're gonna build today is the Streamlit Single. This is it from the outside. It's pretty long going back. So I really hope we have the room for it, but we got some green on here and on the inside is only one bedroom. Yeah, one double bedroom right at the front here. We've got a bathroom. We have a diagonal living room. We got a bookshelf hiding in there, a big dining table, and our kitchen is separated over here by an archway. And the fact that our living room is so empty might be our saving grace here. This is our neighborhood to size, <laughs> which is so funny because look how cute and small our tiny version is. All right, let's build our final one we're gonna do today. So our shell is going to have to be all the way to the back like this. And then we have the tiny kitchen over to this side, which I'm just gonna go like that. Maybe even smaller than that. Okay, and then we have a bedroom right when we walk in. So I'm gonna go up this way and over to the right. Then we can do our tiny bathroom up here and hopefully we'll be able to fit our living room in this little space there. Oh, and I forgot we have to section this part off for the patio. Oh my gosh, it's so small. Let's start off rebuilding the bedroom. So we're gonna put our double bed right there. We're gonna have to get our door here. Our dresser, maybe I can put the door like closer there and fit the dresser in this corner or even like that works. Then again, we have this lamp. This lamp is a reoccurring theme here. I think it's in every single bedroom that we have built today. We'll grab our carpet. We'll grab our wallpaper. I do have some windows here, which I'm gonna add, but I think I'm also gonna add a little bit of lighting in there because it's so dark. Bathroom again, nice and easy. Just gonna be using the exact same strategy that I have been using. Beautiful. And then this is the room that I'm worried about. <laughs> Look how big this is. That room in the original house is just as big as the entire house. When you put it to scale like this, it's actually crazy. And I'm running out of room to place my items. I can put it maybe over here and I'm gonna grab my couch and my TV. And the way I see it, I need everything to be on this diagonal like it is. I'm gonna stick that in this corner here and this couch I'm gonna angle. And yes, okay, perfect. We can still get through there to the bathroom. The thing I'm worried about now is the dining table. Obviously, there's no way I'm gonna be able to fit this massive thing in there. But what I can do is delete this, keep the chairs, and just replace it with a smaller, similar base game table. I'm gonna push that into the corner and we'll go like that. Then I have an archway here for my kitchen. I have a bookshelf that I still have to place and I think a hanging light. And finally, we have our kitchen, which I'm able to place right next to it. So I should be able to keep my fridge where it was. I'll put that right there. And then I think I'll have the room to wrap everything around and be okay. We'll get that corner piece for prep. I can do a sink maybe there and an oven right in the middle. Got our smoke detector and our trash can can probably just go actually right here. This one is so cute. Okay, I'm gonna grab my wallpaper for the outside. We're gonna get our windows and add those on. Exact same roofing that we've been doing, but with like a little extra. Someone really figured out this roofing technique and ran with it. That one might be 
be the cutest one on the block. I did all the landscaping for it. I added all the outdoor details, like the windows and stuff. This one is just so small. So that's what this one turned out like on the outside. That is what this whole neighborhood is looking like. So this is what our entire world of Willow Creek is looking like on one lot. We only have a few more lots to go. So we can probably wrap this up in maybe one or two more episodes of this series. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this little throwback. I hope you did. I thought I lost this save file forever, so I'm glad that I found it. And it's gonna be a nice little break between our big and bougie build series versus this tiny little one. If you guys like it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.